Okay, so that one wins for the rainbow. Dude, and then the all rainbow. the way down the side of it. All right, so we're not sure what's going on here right now. Asher just hooked up literally right at the surface of the water and this big splash came up. That was really, really big. All right, you guys, you guys wanna see something funny? So Asher's been in Mexico for two months. So we're back in the Asher's fishing van and which i haven't driven anywhere yeah, at no all no exactly this van's been, been sitting back. for two months for sure this van's been sitting for two months and daylight finally hits and i'm all like bro you got some cobwebs and he's like oh yeah there's a couple right there but check this thing out it's like a spider has been on vacation with him it in his van <laughs> It wasn't like that when I, when I was like, oh yeah, there's a couple. I was like thinking of like some tiny little cobweb that was there in the corner <laughs> in the past. So even the glasses are all encased back there. It's pretty funny. Anyway, we got a spider buddy. He's going fishing with us. Why don't you guys go fishing with us too? Let's do this. absolute tank of a greenling that is a monster fish that's got to weigh a couple of pounds uh three maybe even four pound fish or something like that um that's a big that's a big greenling stoked on that right there look at that monster that is getting turned into tacos one hundo guys on again that's another decent sized greenling all right guys another beautiful fun little greenling awesome good little eating fish just smashing them away check out the size of this greenling guys that is a toad right there but what a beast what a beast we are taking him home get the hook popped out i'm gonna put this one out put him in here we got a nice collection going on here. I'll, I'll lay some out. Here's another greenling, you guys. And the colors on this one are just unreal. Just really gorgeous, amazing greenling. This one, the red one that he kept, turned in a bunch of spots. Look at the variety we got here. This one's the red with the white big spots. This one's got a yellow with a little bit of red with the white spots. This one is pretty much just brown with white spots. He's got red because that's blood. This one's like a purple with blue spots. And he's got yellow dots on his fins right here. That's really cool. And then this one we just got. He's the biggest one too. Awesome. That right there, it's gonna be a feast. Doesn't feel like the monsters we've been hitting. But oh it's a, almost a perfect size for something else. <laughs> that is the smallest greenling we have caught today. It is. It's just barely bigger than I would like to use for a live bait. Cool, bro. Using that, using that thing to catch a giant ling cod would be fun. But he's just a little bit big. Very small. I mean, just a little guy. Go ahead and let him go. Nothing on the one we've got. So. I saw the ling cod. It looks it like a decent that, fish. I mean, it was all right, but it wasn't like huge. It's not like this. No, it's not huge. This is definitely a seal. He's like playing games with me. This sea lion could run around the whole ocean, but he's like feeling right. Every time I game, because he let go. Next time he let go, it's really Dude, bring it hard. Go, 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 go. go. Game. 
let go. Next time you let go, just really Dude, bring it hard. Go, 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 Oh, I saw him grab it again. Oh, oh man, shit. we got it. It's a little Lincoln. He's he's looking tore up and dead. Holy I think it's cow. not not a keeper size fish, but we'll take a look at it, show it to you guys, and decide what to do. We're uh, probably gonna be throwing it back into the ocean here in a second. Well, guys, I'm actually out of breath. That was a heck of a fight with a seal for this link cod that isn't even big enough to keep, but look how chewed he is. Missing a bunch of his fins up big here. Big holes in the side, like look right big down there. Big hole in the mouth, big look at, his, look at that. His whole face is chewed up. So, we're gonna pop this bait out. I don't even know how it's in there anymore. It looks like it was in there real good, and that's why the... He couldn't get it off my hook. Oh my God. And with the waves swirling around, and you're having that heavy braid, probably wasn't easy for him to... Uh, yeah, I got 60 pound braid on my line. So, as you guys saw, I did not kill this fish. Look at this thing. Poor guy got tortured. We gotta let him go because he's not big enough to keep. But I got to fight a seal, so that's better than nothing, right? Well, you're just gonna be food for another fish, a shark, maybe a bigger lingcod. We're gonna feed the ocean with him. Off into the ocean. Sorry, little guy. Fell around that thing. Wow. So, you know, we don't have tropical fish here. All the fish we have here have teeth and they're all gnarly and they got to take a beating from these big uh, surges and surfs we have here. But man, if, if that's about as close to a tropical fish here as you're ever going to get. Look at the reds on them. Look at the blue. Definitely got a, definitely going to be a blue fillet kind of fish. Oh, come on guys. Maybe this one will be like the red, bright pink, or purple, or something like that. Because of how colorful the last one was, and it is. Yeah, look at that thing. <laughs> wow, look at the white on him. Look at that. Look thing. at all of the wild color pattern wow. on that fish right there. Look at the green on his tail right here. Like insane. Green and pinks. Look at the, the spots on that fin right well, there. Guys, I really wanted to let this one go because it's not the biggest greenling, and he was just so pretty but it had the hook swallowed real, real deep and um, it wasn't going to make it. So I went and I go ahead and kept it. But look at that. Look what at these, crazy, look at these dude. fins. Let me try to get in with the fins. camera better. Like look at the color of these fins. Look at the, the, gill, the gill plates on there. Orange, we, okay, so we got blue, green, orange, pink. Purple. He's got these little eyebrows, and then, and then look at the crazy, the crazy wild red and spots of that fin. Okay, so that one wins for the rainbow. Dude, and then all the way down the side of it, look, it's got these oh, blues, wow. greens, okay. reds, all the way up top, wow. down to its tail. And then look at that bottom fin right there, how cool that fin is. That's a peacock greenling. Right? That's what we're going to start calling those ones. Wild. Well, he swallowed the hook, so he's going in the bag. God, he's so he's like a peacock, dude. Really cool. That might be the color for one of the day, for sure. All right, so we're not sure what's going on here right now. Asher just hooked up literally right at the surface of the water, and this big splash came up, and we couldn't tell if it was that dang sea lion again. He's getting worked over right now. It could be that sea lion just grabbing the squid off. No, there's no squid. I'm just running a plastic. He grabbed your plastic. I'm running a storm, a storm so, little swim bait thing. So either Asher's on a big, big ling or fish, or he literally just hooked up on a sea lion. I Dude, I think it's a fish. It's not pulling as hard as a seal would, right? I mean, did I really just hook up that seal and he's and he decided to eat my little See if he pops up with it. Wow, guys. Maybe we're just in the wrong spot or the right spot. I don't know. We got two fish hooked up and both of them. 
are just, dude, there's seals all over. Right, why don't we chase it? Well, we're gonna try to chase it, see what happens. At the best of uh, chasing on the jetty you can do. You might as well come up. You want to, I'll take it and you want to get up and I'll, you got it? Oh, well, whatever, oh, man. whatever it was, just, I mean, uh, I don't think a seal was good. Just ate my little plastic storm jig. We're going to have to, we're going to have to ask on, on the old social media, if any of, uh, any jetty guys, I've ever had that happen. I've never seen a seal take a swim bait, a small swim bait. What would have got a, what would have got a fish? Wow. What do you think? I've never seen a link cod run up the jetty like that. Did you catch a striper? I feel like it would be weird for a seal to just eat I agree. a little plastic swim bait and that they're usually more on it than that. I don't know. There was a splash right there. I saw I did, the splash. But I didn't see a seal or nothing. I guess it just kind of goes to uh, to see if anybody else has had a seal take their small swim bait. Either that or you just hooked a striper. Could have been a big striper. Or a springer. If it was, if it was a springer, it was a hell of a springer. God, I hate that. And <laughs> I will never know. Well, you guys, that was pretty wild. I don't know exactly what just happened, but just throwing a little like a storm eye shad style swim bait. Pretty simple little bass swim bait that um, I know a link cod will take, but I was really thinking that a rock bass would maybe be into it. And I'd see if I could get a big rock bass. Yeah, it could have been a big striper. It really could have been a big striper. Um, there was a small splash right on the surface of the water and I all of a sudden was hooked into something big. And, um, you know, a minute ago, Chris was hooked up into that seal because he had um, a little green ling or that little ling cod on, and then the seal was trying to eat it. And when you have something that powerful on right next to the jetty, your first thought is like, oh no, is it a seal grabbing my little fish? But I didn't have a little fish on. I just had a little, a little piece of plastic on. And um, I've never had a seal go for a lure or go for my plastic um they don't even usually go for your bait if it's just on a hook like if you're just using a small chunk of fish on a on a hook or something like that this was you know a single sardine Dude, size i just feel like if it was a seal it would have gone i feel like a seal would have been stronger Dude, that's what i'm saying he was smoking yeah i i was like i was actually no, I was actually like fighting it for a minute. I was kind of, I turned it around a little bit. I was like, okay, every now and then I get a little second with this, which it means. Weird. I mean, that thing kind of like went up there and sat there. It mulled around right out front for a minute. I thought I turned it around at one point. Dude, the ripple didn't, I, it looked like and, a fish splash. And um, it, you could see the seals. When the, when the seal was uh, messing with Chris's fish and it, when it slammed it, and then when it let it go, you could see it right on the surface and you could see like a whole body of a seal. We didn't see anything like that when that splash happened. Just all of a sudden there was a big splash right out in front of um, where I was casting and I was on to like some kind of monster. It really, really stripped a lot of line. I was about to chase it down the jetty and I got all the way up here onto the top and I was just letting it zip out line. I was even thinking I'm not putting that much pressure on, like so much pressure that it would break or something like that. But we're fishing on the jetty, you know, there's, um, there's mussels and barnacles and all kinds of little periwinkles and scallop type things and whatever just all over the rocks right here 
and I've been snagged up a few times a day. I'm casting pretty far and um, and getting snagged up off in the distance. And I could have had a little kink in my line, like anywhere along the way in my line, and that could have been what um, what caused it to just break in that moment. I'm a little bit at uh, loss of words and I'm just kind of shocked at what just happened. You guys might be able to tell I'm usually a little bit more uh, put together and a little more talkative, but that was a really, really big, um, I think fish. I think I just had a really massive, massive something right here on the side of the jetty. And um, I've caught some pretty big fish in my life. I've caught a couple of, you know, 200 pound ish sharks. I've caught uh, maybe a 100, 150 pound tarpon. I, I haven't really fight felt much fight like that um, ever you know that was a really limited mass of things that it could be out yeah there's not a lot it could be no no and striking it from the surface like that like um, you know it, I I came up from the bottom so it could have been a ling cod coming up after it a, a big ling it, it, it could have been a big striper could have been a real big striper smashing a little swim bait like that right on the surface of the water and then just how much how strong it was how much force it had well you guys yeah i guess we'll get back at it but wow whatever that was was a monster monster fish Wow. You're watching the bite? 